In this tutorial, we would simulate the transient analysis for the common source amplifier using the LTSPICE tools. LTSPICE is a SPICE based analog electronic circuit simulator computer software produced by semiconductor manufacturer analog devices. Click on components. Select a BMOS and an NMOS based explicit substrate connection. Click escape and again select on the components. Select NMOS4 which is similar to the explicit substrate connection. Now we have to select the appropriate model for uh, simulation of the circuit. Uh, what we can do is that uh, we can uh, use the existing model which is present in the tool. Uh, but in this example we would be using the BSIM4 based model for the simulation purpose. Right click on the BMOS and change the model name which was present in the uh, BSIM model. So it has to be B underscore 1 micro. Define the length as uh, 1 micro and the width as 50 micro and click on OK. Similarly, we have to do for the NMOS based. Uh, select the model name as N underscore 1 micro, which is present in the BSIM model file, and then define the length as 1 micro and the width as 10 micro. Now we have to define the IO pins and the wires for our common source amplifier. Click on labels and define VDD which is at the input. Click escape and then define VSS. and define that as an input. Similarly, click on label net and define as VN, which is the input port again. V bias, select that as input. And then we must define the output, which we will name it as V out. Click on OK and place the pin. In order to complete our schematic, we must connect all those wires as shown in this tutorial. Once we connect all those wires, uh, we have completed our uh, common source amplifier schematic. Now you remember that we had defined the BSIM model file that is P underscore 1 micro and N underscore 1 micro. Now we have to define this particular model file in this particular uh, schematic. Click on edit and then click on the SPICE derivative. We have to define this following command dot include bsim4 underscore models dot text click ok and place this on the circuit now we must save this particular schematic right so go to file and click on save as. Uh, ensure that uh, we save this particular schematic uh, in a folder where we have uh, also saved that particular BSM model 4 file or else when you do the circuit simulation you would uh, end up 
uh, getting error. Now the schematic has to be converted into a form of a symbol. Click on hierarchy and then create a new symbol. Click on draw, select rectangle, drag and drop the rectangle of your desired size and click on escape. Go to edit, add pin port and define the labels. We have to define V by us, click on top and then place the label. Similarly, click on edit, add pin and port, define label as V in, select where, where you want the pin and then just drop it. Perform in a similar way for all the inputs and outputs which we had defined in our schematic. So once we have defined all the labels V by us, V in, VSS, VDD and V out, we have to draw the line. Like we have to make those connections from the label to the desired symbol what we had defined. Once we are done with all the labels uh, and, and defining the lines, uh, what we need to do is that uh, we have to uh, define this particular uh, symbol. I mean, we can name this particular symbol. So we'll just name it as common source amplifier for our convenience. Now we have to save the symbol, go to file and click on save as. Ensure that you save this particular symbol uh, in the library, uh, in the library folder where uh, there is a folder called a symbol and you can create a new folder called as my symbol and you can save this particular symbol over there. Click on new schematic in order to perform the transient analysis for the common source amplifier select component and uh, since we created the common source amplifier symbol previously we have to select my symbols and select CSA symbol now let us uh, select the uh, voltage source for this particular transient analysis we have to select uh, around four voltage source, uh, voltage source one, voltage source two, voltage source three and the voltage source four. Connect all this particular voltage source as shown in this particular tutorial. things easier what we do is that uh, we change the voltage source name uh, based on whatever the pins we had defined okay so instead of v1 we define it as vdd and v2 as vss uh, v4 as v bias and v3 as v in And now connect all that particular voltage source to the inputs 
and then we have to also define our ground connection so click on ground and place the ground connections wherever uh, it has been shown in this particular tutorial the common source amplifier transient circuit has been completed now we have to define the voltage values so for v bias 2.5 volt for uh, uh, vdd we uh, mention it as 5 volts for vss minus 5 volts and in case of vn we do the advanced option where we define the uh, dc offset voltage as 0 volt amplitude as 5 millivolt and frequency as 1 kilohertz click on ok now uh, we have to uh, include the psm4 model uh, which we had uh, done earlier so uh, click on spice directive and type this following command dot include psm4 underscore models dot text click on ok and place this in your schematic go to edit click on spice analysis and we'll do the transient analysis top time as 4 ok and place this now save this particular file or uh, this particular uh, schematic in the folder where we had created uh, the schematic for the uh, common source amplifier so name this as csa underscore circuit run the spice analysis now click on the vn wire you got the tra input transient analysis now right click and click on add plot and then click on v out and you can see the transient analysis for your common source amplifier circuit simulation thank you for watching this tutorial subscribe to the channel below